recombinant DNA technology refers to the process of joining DNA molecules from two different sources and inserting them into a host organism to generate products for human use. Since the DNA is enclosed within the cell membranes, cells are treated with the enzymes to break open the cell. The DNA is present along with the macromolecules such as RNA, polysaccharides, proteins and lipids. Here, RNA can be removed by the treatment with ribonuclease, whereas proteins can be removed by the treatment with the protease. Other macromolecules are removable with other enzymes or treatments. Ultimately, the addition of ethanol causes the DNA to precipitate out as fine threads. This is then spooled out to give purified DNA. Restriction enzymes act as molecular scissors that cut DNA at specific locations known as palindromic sequences. The cutting of DNA by restriction endonuclease results in the fragments of DNA. These fragments are separated by a technique called gel electrophoresis. Since the DNA fragments are negatively charged, they can be separated by forcing them to move towards anode under an electric field through a matrix agarose. DNA fragments separate according to their size. The separated bands of DNA are cut out from the agarose gel and extracted from the gel piece. This step is called elution. Polymerase chain reaction or PCR is a method of making multiple copies of a DNA sequence using the enzyme TAC polymerase. It helps to amplify a single copy or a few copies of DNA into thousands to millions of copies. PCR is based on three steps. The first step is denaturation. In that, the DNA is heated to at least 94 degrees Celsius. The heat breaks the hydrogen bonds of the original DNA sample and separates the DNA into single strands. Second step is annealing. The sample mixture is then cooled to between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, allowing the DNA primers and the DNA polymerase enzymes to bind to the individual strands of DNA that were separated by the heat. The third step is extension. Once joined together, they form a new complementary strand of DNA. Thus, a new duplicate double-stranded DNA molecule has been formed from each of the single strand of the original sample molecule. Cloning vectors are like vehicles to transfer gene of one organism into another organism. Plasmids are very extensively used as cloning vectors. Plasmid is an extranuclear or extra-chromosomal self-replicating double-stranded circular DNA of bacteria. With the same restriction enzyme which is used to cut gene of interest, the vector are cut. This yields the cut DNA fragment and the cut vector both of which are now open. Both the desired gene and excised vector are brought together in the presence of an enzyme DNA ligase that binds sticky ends of two DNA fragments together to obtain a recombinant DNA. The recombinant DNA is then transferred into a recipient host cell. The plasmid DNA is mixed with the chilled bacterial cells and treated with calcium and incubated on ice. The plasmid cell mixture is then briefly heated to 42 degrees Celsius, allowing the DNA to enter the cell through the disrupted membrane. The heated mixture is then placed back on ice to retain the plasmids inside the bacteria. The recombinant DNA bearing gene for resistance to an antibiotic amphicillin. These transformed cells are grown on agar plates containing amphicillin. Only transformants will grow and non-transformants will die. Because the amphicillin resistant gene present in the recombinant DNA encoding an enzyme which breaks down amphicillin. So the bacteria with the plasmid can grow on a plate containing the antibiotic while the other bacteria die. The transformant cells are cultured in a large scale by using a device called bioreactor. A bioreactor provides optimum conditions for temperature, oxygen, pH, vitamins, etc. to biologically convert raw materials into specific proteins, enzymes, etc. Under optimum conditions, the microorganisms or cells are able to perform their desired function with the limited production of impurities. After the formation of the product, it undergoes through some processes such as separation and purification before a finished product is ready for marketing. 
the processor collectively called as downstream processing.